Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. If you've been on YouTube and you've seen either videos of people who craft or people who do makeup, then you have seen these drawers. These are the Ikea Alex drawers and they come in a set of five or nine drawers. And they are very popular and I saw a bunch of videos with them in it and I ended up getting them. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and jump into the pros and cons of this set of drawers. So let's get started. Pro number one, this drawer set is basic and white and sleek, but still designer enough to look pretty in any space. As you can see in the background, my space is tans and pinks and whites, and actually my curtains are a soft blue, but it goes really well in my space. Um, if you're looking for decorating in a like minimalistic way, these drawers are perfect for that. You could put labels on them or leave them blank and they are perfect. Con, this thing is heavy and it's not so heavy now that it's put together, but just in the box at Ikea, it is 82 pounds. It's really, really heavy. It's a two person pickup for sure, but I even had trouble getting it in my car and I needed one of the guys there to help me. I live on the second floor, so I had to open the box while it was still in my car, take pieces upstairs. I had to make three trips because it's just so heavy. I could have probably drug it, but I valued my bag and ain't nobody got time for that. I wasn't going to call my boyfriend to come help me. I, I was like, I'm going to do this myself, but I had to do it the more um, efficient way, which was take some out a little bit at a time and bring them upstairs. The next pro is that it wipes off easily. It cleans really easily. I spilled some setting powder on mine and my setting powder is brown and I wiped it off with a napkin and then I got a makeup wipe and wiped it right off. It didn't leave like a stain. It didn't change the finish of the, um, of the wood. Um, it wiped off perfectly. And even sometimes I'll have like leftover makeup on my hands and I'll touch it. Wiping it off with some soap and water or just plain water works out perfectly. The next con, assembly takes forever. I really grappled with whether I was going to include the assembly video on this video because in all, it took me like two hours. It's not hard at all. The instructions don't have words. They just have pictures. It's not hard. It's just so many pieces and so many little bolts and screws and it is a lot. It took me two hours. If I were to get another one, maybe I could shave off like 30 minutes of my time now that I know exactly how everything is supposed to go. But it's so intimidating the first time. It, it was overwhelming. I had to do it in two parts because I had to go back to work. I just didn't think it was going to take that long and it sincerely took a very long time. The next pro is that you can organize almost everything. All of my makeup stuff fits in there. Some of my like, like office stuff fits in there too. Some of my crafting stuff fits in there. I got the nine drawer set and uh, it's perfect. Everything fits. Um, everything can have its place. Again, you can label the drawers if you want to so that you don't have to keep opening drawers trying to see where stuff is. But all of your things up to a certain size will fit in these drawers. Con, when you bolt the drawers to the little metal bars inside, the drawers only open about three fourths of the way. Now I did see this when I looked up the drawer set um, initially and I was like, okay, maybe I just won't bolt it to the little slats. But when you don't do that, it doesn't slide out easy, like easily. So it's like you either have a, an, an, an uneven slide and it opens all the way or you have an even slide and you can only use three fourths of your drawer. I don't like that. It's a design flaw. And I've, I saw like reviews from two years back. So they have not changed it. And honestly, they're not going to either. Pro, 
you can purchase the size to fit your needs. I saw the one that has five drawers and the one that has nine drawers. I got the taller one, I got the one with nine drawers, but obviously if you get the one with five, you can put it underneath your desk or you can put it on each side of your, of your desk and it fits at the level where you're sitting. The nine drawer is a little bit taller, but you can also put something else on top of it like a small TV or your makeup brushes or things of that nature. The next con is that it's very easy to strip the wood. Um, even when just using uh, the hammer with the little like plastic screws, if you go in too far, it kind of chips off the wood. I don't know exactly what this is made out of. Um, particle board maybe. It's like wooden, but cheaply made so the wood cracks and strips very easily when I took two pieces out of the box two pieces were already like broken on the corners and I know that, that can happen anywhere um, with any furniture but I was disappointed but I also wasn't going to put everything back in the box take it back to the store just to get another one for a couple of broken pieces um, doesn't take away from the overall um, aesthetic but I did not love that a couple of pieces were broken. The next con, it still requires baskets or dividers of some sort. And the ones that they sell at Ikea are very expensive. It's just like a drawer, like in the kitchen or something. If you have to put small things in it, you need a divider or something to go in there to hold it. So I was able to go to Dollar Tree and get a couple of things, but I just feel like if I'm paying this much, I should have cheaper options for putting my stuff in there now of course you can just lay your things in there but they kind of roll um i wish ikea would do a better job at providing items at a decent price point things that you actually need um but i guess they don't have to they've been in business for long enough and people shop there so they genuinely don't care my last observation which is not really a con, but also not that great, is the price. I paid over 150 bucks. Um, and I just, I knew what I was getting, but I still expected it just to be a little better uh, constructed. Like I just, for me to have to put it together myself and it takes so long and have so many pieces and I paid this much for it, I just would have expected it to be a little bit better quality um, I guess I could have gone to a high-end furniture store and paid more and got what I was looking for, but I thought this was going to be a little better than what it is. Now, granted, I won't be using it, like, all the time every single day because I don't wear makeup every single day. But if you're opening and closing these drawers all the time, it is quite possible that you could break one of them or strip one of them. And I read the reviews after the fact, and I did see that a few people had broken some. So I don't know what the return policy is or what, but hopefully I never need it. Overall, I am happy with the drawers. I'm happy with the way that they look. I, I, I got what I paid for um, and I am contemplating getting a second one. I hope this helps you guys in your uh, decision making. Let me know if your observations are the same as mine. And until next time, y'all have a good day.